Ah, my lord. Why bother sneaking about, creeping so silently? Even with this blindfold on, I can still tell it's you. Many things about you may have changed in your path to becoming such a renowned warlord for your king's honor, but you still use the same disgusting animal fat concoction to slick back your hair that you did when we were in training. Besides, I would know the darkness of your soul anywhere for the way it sours the air the very moment you arrive. Come to bring me another meal, laced with sleeping powder again. I cannot fathom why you make these deliveries yourself rather than just relying on a trusted servant. Unless... You know your own reputation with your slaves to be so poor that my slightest influence might be enough to turn them against you. Just the sight of me, a poor, captured woman, bound down here to this single bed in a silk dress that might as well not exist at all, would your female servants rally to my cause? Or, perhaps you fear, a male subordinate might not be able to resist the temptation of his master's helpless treasure? Ha, huh. I see. The latter is more likely. You did always jealously guard your toys. But I never knew you not to use those toys to their full potential swinging weapons again and again until they quickly fell apart. Yet you have not used me once. To my knowledge, of course. It did take me a few days to decipher the taste of the medicine you were using to put me to sleep, and learn not to accept any meals you should offer. But to your very limited credit, my body... Feels as it always has. Intact. Don't tell me that you simply have a fetish for watching women when they're unconscious. That's certainly not what I was led to believe. I'd almost be a little disappointed at your lack of dominating spirit. Or maybe that is exactly what you lack. Could it be... The reason you come to this room alone, where it is only the two of us, where your secret can be safe, and you listen to me insult and force my hatred upon you, is because, in fact, the big, ferocious warlord himself wants to try his hand at being the weak one. Are you looking to be dominated, my lord? Is that what you seek, you poor thing? Huh. Well, you won't get that from me. I refuse to fulfill your desires, no matter what they may be, and... Ah! Put that blindfold back on! Gods forbid I have to look at your smug face for even a moment at... What is the meaning of this? This! This! Why would you allow me to finally see the contents of this room? This isn't a bedroom. Or a torture chamber at all. There's maps along the walls. Messengers, scrolls, and... Tactical plans. You bastard! Have you been keeping me in the very room where you plan the demise of my people? How dare you! Your cruelty is as creative as ever, you monster! Oh, God. Disgusting. Who knows where that handkerchief of yours has been? Now what? I've agreed to listen to whatever nonsense you have to share. Spit it out! 
Did you dare just say that you want my help usurping your king? You truly are a man without a shred of decency. You cannot even stay loyal to your own country. Murdering all the other continents' royalty wasn't enough? Now you must finish off your own? He is a pathetic worm, that much I know. But I'm sure his people would rather labor under his fat hypocrisy than your sure-to-be tyrannical bloody reign. What do you mean that you wouldn't be the one in charge? I can hardly believe that one such as yourself would be championing the cause of some other royal looking to take the throne. For none must be richer than your king now that he has stolen the vast wealth of all others. You wish to establish a new form of government? One led by the citizens? One of fairness and equality? <laughs> you sound mad. Absolutely mad. There cannot be a country without a divine ruler and the hands of the church. It has never been done. The lower classes will always be forced to suffer by those in power, their children taken and sold as slaves. Or warriors, as you and I well know. The world is one of blood and pain and battle. There is no room for this peace you speak of. Besides, many peoples who sought to live in such a way were quickly invaded by neighboring kings. Can't be. Who is it that convinced your ruler to begin his unification of all the lands? Who convinced him to begin slaughtering the nobility and taking each kingdom for his own? Was it you? Did you do all of this for some grander, hopelessly idealistic purpose? No. No, oh, I thought at least some of the blame for the loss of my home rested on his shoulders. But I see now that he was only another foolish pawn in your quest for... What? Utopia? Tell me, how can there be peace and prosperity when everyone is already dead? Whole cultures laid to waste because they would not fit neatly into the future you're hoping to craft. And yet you have the gall to ask me to help you complete your master plan now that it is in its final stages? You are mad. Of course I would like to see a world where no one is treated unfairly, where those in power look out for the weak. Of course. But not for the price you have charged. Is this why you treated the oracles so? robbing them of their foresight. Because they would have told your king about your impending treachery. No, I will not help you. You murdered innocent people in mass. You made me, a pure woman, believe that you wanted to use my body for horrible deeds. All as an excuse to imprison me down here and take advantage of my superior warrior's knowledge and skills just to finish your revolution? Even if you were to get down on your knees and say, Hilevi Thornborn, please, this is all for the greater good. I need your assistance. I would not be swayed. Your world can burn for all I care. <sighs> what do you know of my nightmares? I see you have been watching me sleep, you ghoulish coward. Yes, every time I close my eyes, I am racked with guilt. And the only death I long for more than my own is yours. What of it? <laughs> you say you will turn yourself over to me the moment your plan is realized. <laughs> And I may do with you as I wish. 
a pathetic weasel such as yourself. You could not stomach what I would do to you. How do I know that you will keep your word? You have betrayed me before, remember? I cannot trust you to do such an honorable thing. These shackles, yes, they are still oddly comfortable. Why? What? What are you doing? Chaining yourself to me is certain death, you know. You'll never accomplish your goal. Ah! They're gone. Is this the ancient binding magic? How dare you! I never expressly agreed to help you in exchange for being the one to kill you. I refuse. Ah! Ah! Yes, that hurt. Damn. I can't even hold a thought about going against the pact without... Ugh. You are the worst of men. The worst. Fine. With my help, your king will swiftly meet his end. But then... So shall you.